you have any special emphasis or anything you're going to be pushing at Printing United? It's a little bit far ahead because I know everybody's thinking Drupal right now. Um, but but um, Printing United, I think we're gonna we're gonna display, of course, um, you know, our our addressable markets, and they're very healthy addressable markets. You know, the thing I like about industrial print is, you know, when you look at office documents, you've got to look, you, 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 there, there's some challenges because you don't need a printed page. You can look at a PDF on the screen and some of that you may, it may, it may go away. But industrial print, you can't take a piece of vinyl and put it on the internet. <laughs> you can't take a, a label that's on a bottle and put it on the internet. Those things, those physical things are going to continue to be in place. And, um, and, and over the years, we're just doing it, we're doing it faster, we're doing it better, and we're giving customers options. It, it, so I, I love talking about the label market as we speak, because that's one of our addressable markets. Sure. And you look at um, the buying demographic today, the, everybody, likes, it like, everybody likes personalization. And when you look at grocery stores, SKUs are exploding. Amazon is exploding with its SKUs. And so that locally grown that small production run, um, our product line fits so well in satisfying that. And so um, we're seeing we're seeing a lot of success and we're going to continue to see that trend. That's what we want to try and, and clarify for the dealers, that there's multiple options here. That there, uh, And if I read you correctly, there's no one set way or good way. They're all good. Is that a fair statement? It is a fair statement, Frank. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, that that should make everybody happy. <laughs> it, it it should. And, you know, what I did for the for the year is I was advocating um, more about this industrial print space and find it to be more of an adjacency than I than anything else. Because if you look at a dealer who does want to want to maybe move into production as we traditionally know it. You know, the way you minimize that investment is you look at some of these other verticals. So you may potentially you talk about you bring in wide format, you look at labels, and now all of a sudden that production rep has a portfolio. And when they're walking into a commercial shop or even in an implant, you know, they're not single threaded anymore. They, they, they're, they're hybrids. You know, they got a department that's got their cut sheet. They got a department that's doing wide. They got their narrow label you know, environments or any of those specialty embellishments, it's, it's what the, it's, it's, it's the trend that's, that's, that's moving in implant and it's a trend that's moving in commercial print. Trying to find a good direction and a way to encourage dealers to get over there is to focus on a product or a specific technology. I felt a long time ago when you asked and encouraged us to go to the ITMA show in Barcelona, textile printing, man, that was so cool. It, it it is a it's a very very cool industry an industry that we once had years ago and then of course it went overseas because of right. labor reasons i think what was still still ahead of the curve on this because a lot of the infrastructure is overseas like in china and bangladesh and in in pakistan turkey but the market trends and especially covid proved this out that the market's looking for the fast fashion, quick changes. And the only way that you can support what the market is demanding is through digital technology. So that that shift from overseas to onshoring close to the distribution center where you can produce on demand and then fulfill, I think, is going to be a trend going forward. I think where the where, why there isn't a lot of take right now is because there even the manufacturers in general, a lot of their infrastructure is focused on the key textile markets, which is overseas. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I think they've got to catch up a little bit and build that infrastructure or that presence in these new markets like the United States and like Western Europe um, to get the adoption going forward. But fascinating um, business, no different than you know, production cut sheet where you have pre-press and you're doing mm -hmm. color management, you're just, you're just printing onto fabrics on the back end and producing a product. Exciting for, as, as, as the dealers and the market and the manufacturers get their hand into this industrial print, you know, you're going to have 
these these big bohemoths of of markets one in i.e packaging packaging is huge and like anything else it's going to bifurcate like um like anybody like anything else short run to long runs and so on but that world only knows long runs you know you you're printing on a box there wasn't technology to kind of even keep keep up with the demand and i think you're starting to see some technologies in the marketplace um, at every level and you can justify a production of run of one with a customized box or um, some folding carton. And, and, I, and I think that's that's going to play really well with uh, with our industry. Great to be with you. But before I leave, I would like to leave you with one thought. It's important to us, obviously. We need subscribers. Subscribers make it possible for us to deliver these kinds of visits, which all of you seem to enjoy. We want to keep doing it. Help us make that possible. Please subscribe.